Hey guys, what's up? It's Brad from Gamotial.com. Uh, today we have yet another one of our class recommendations. Uh, these are just, you know, loadouts that we recommend because we've used them a lot and tested them out uh, multiple times. And they're just really good classes to be using in Black Ops 2. Uh, this one is uh, kind of similar to the rest of the SMG classes that we've been doing. Uh, it's kind of a fast-paced, kind of run-and-gun class. It's really meant for really small maps or maps where you know you're going to have a lot of tight spaces that you're going to encounter enemies in a lot because the gun is uh it's strong but uh it's got a lot of re it's got quite a bit of recoil on it and it just uh, goes through ammo very quickly so you have to watch that but uh what we're talking about right now is the scorpion evo okay and then for the attachments we're going to use the <clears throat> the foregrip along with the long barrel now I know you probably noticed I don't have them all unlocked, but this weapon is already on prestige, and I've gone through these uh, quite a bit, just uh, testing them all out, select fire, rapid fire, all that good stuff, to find out which ones work the best. And personally, I've found that long barrel and foregrip are the best combination for this particular gun. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the stock sights on the Scorpion. If you're one of those people, you can substitute the long barrel for reflex, but I really recommend using long barrel just because it adds a um, quite a bit of range to it and for I don't know if it seems like to me it just steadies the gun out a lot more whereas without it it has a lot of recoil um, the gun drifts upward if you just hold down the trigger so I don't know the foregrip and long barrel seem to kind of manage that a little bit better and you give you a little bit more distance and it just makes it a really good weapon uh, for your secondary I'm gonna go with the B2 3R just a strong pistol great to pull out when you're out of ammo or you just need to get another kill it just takes like two or three shots uh, up close to take somebody out so it's really good to have that on secondary uh, for your perks we're gonna go with lightweight just because like I said this is kind of a run and gun class we like to get around fast lightweight is perfect for that uh, for perk 2 we're gonna go with scavenger and the reason why I say scavenger because I don't normally recommend this but the scorpion does fly through bullets really really quickly um, so it's good to have scavenger on so after you get a kill you can pick up that ammo pack and just replenish your ammo over and over again and it works well for the lethals and such we're going to use later on too for your third perk I usually recommend tactical mass for this class uh, just because I hate getting concussioned or hit by shock charges or stuff like that if you don't really care too much about that you can go for either dexterity or extreme conditioning. Dexterity makes it a lot easier to aim down your sights um, after you come out of a full sprint. And then dex uh, excuse me, extreme conditioning goes pretty well with lightweight because it makes it where you not only run fast, but you can run a lot further distances. But for me, I personally prefer using tactical mass just to stay out of the way of concussions and stuff because it pretty much takes away 90% of those effects. Uh, for the lethal, you go with Sentex. I really like using Semtex just because it's pretty much a toss and explode kind of lethal. Uh, whereas like frag grenades you have to hold for a few seconds and then throw or throw it and wait for a few seconds for the fuse to go down. Whereas the Semtex almost explodes immediately so I like that uh, quickness about it. Uh, for the tacticals, I'm going to go with two black hats. The reason for that is I like to build up my score streaks a lot, uh, especially when running these kind of fast paced uh, classes just because it's kind of harder to because you tend to die more often when you're being an aggressive player but uh, using the black hats is pretty fun you can take out UAVs counter UAVs or bigger score streaks uh, you usually get about 75 points I think it's 75 to 100 points for UAV and counter UAVs and then if you take out something huge like a warthog for instance you get 200 points so it really comes in handy but also for the bigger score streaks like the Lowe's Star and the Warthog and the V12 Warship, it takes both of these to take it out, not just one. So um, you can either do that or use them both for just a, a regular UAV just to build up your score streaks. And that's it for this class. Um, it's Like I said, it's really good for really, really up-close encounters. It's really not a good gun for anything further than up in your face battle because the uh, the recoil is just so hard on it. Um, you could try and burst shot it a little bit here and there, but it just doesn't work as well. So I would just recommend using this just for really small, tight maps like uh, Nuketown and uh, maybe Hydro if you get in the little small areas where you go around the bases and stuff. and Just very, very small maps. And that's it for this class, guys. Cheers.